The buildup of Russian troops along Ukraine's border is a growing concern for the international community and is posing an ever trickier foreign policy problem for President Joe Biden. With Russian tanks moving west towards Ukraine months after a similar buildup caused outrage, NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg warned Moscow on Friday of the risk of miscalculation. The same day Ukraine's President Volodymyr Zelensky I told reporters that his country was entirely prepared for an escalation. He was also said he had information that a coup d'etat will take place in our country. While light on details and not accusing the Russian government itself, nor directly referring to the buildup, Zelensky I was specific enough to say the coup would take place on December 1st and 2nd involving Russian and Ukrainian representatives. The Kremlin dismissed Zelensky I's claims. Zelensky I's accusations have raised the Tempe Rat Summit for Democracy and come ahead of the US-led virtual be held on December 9th and 10th. A virtual meeting between Bidenita and Russian President Vladimir Putin is expected before the end of the year that will test the results of their summit in June. Since then, Kiev has been ramping up its pleas to join NATO to curb the threat of Moscow. Politically not all NATO member states are ready for that and we know that Russia is instrumentalizing it to draw red lines, and further increase pressure on the West not to help Ukraine, said Iulia Jaja, director and senior fellow at the Middle East Institute, and adjunct professor at Georgetown University. virtual meeting between Biden and Russian President Vladimir Putin is expected before the end of the year that will test the results of their summit in June. Since then, Kiev has been ramping up its pleas to join NATO to curb the threat of Moscow. Politically not all NATO member states are ready for that and we know that Russia is instrumentalizing it to draw red lines, and further increase pressure on the West not to help Ukraine, said Iulia Jaja director and senior fellow at the Middle East Institute, and adjunct professor at Georgetown University. This also brings us into this difficult cycle of NATO membership, with Russia saying that this is a red line and the United States having a problematic history over the last few years of red lines, she told Newsweek. It is a conundrum in which the Biden administration is in right now, she said, as the US balances how to help Ukraine in real terms and make a difference on the ground, without inadvertently escalating a response from Russia.